procedures, both physically and emotionally. As it involves breaking the leg bones to make a person taller, potentially resulting in a growth of up to 15 centimeters. In this video, we will unveil the most important information you need to know about this innovative surgery. Towards the end, we will reveal where you can undergo this surgery and the cost of the investment. Procedure In option number one, an intramedullary nail is used, which is inserted into the bone, typically in the tibia, and secured with screws at the ends of the nail to prevent movement and stabilize the fracture. The professional then performs a controlled fracture and proceeds to separate the leg bone into two parts. Meanwhile, in option number two, a traction or external fixation device is used, which is embedded in the skin and bone using small screws. After fracturing the bone into two parts, this external device is periodically adjusted to stretch the bone in a controlled manner, allowing new bone tissue to form in the created space. In some cases, both techniques may be combined. In both options, hospitalization is required for observation with the administration of medications to control pain and prevent infections. This procedure extends beyond surgery. Upon discharge, an intensive rehabilitation program is continued to improve leg mobility and strength. Additionally, the devices need to be adjusted daily for three months to achieve the goal of bone extension of one millimeter per day. Full recovery may take seven to nine months. Precautions. In the case of a patient who has opted for option number one, the intramedullary nails, they will not be able to stand or walk until the healing process is complete as the intramedullary nail could deform or break. Meanwhile, for those who choose option two, the external device, they can walk or move with the support of a cane or walker. However, the only downside is that they are less aesthetically pleasing and might be cumbersome. Results. After seven to nine months, a person can gain an increase in height of up to seven centimeters. Upon device removal, whether it's option one or two, the person will be able to apply force and pressure to the intervened bone structure without assistance, gradually strengthening the new bone tissue. So they opt for a second surgery involving another leg bone. In this case, the femur. This process is repeated, allowing them to grow up to 15 centimeters. Many people reject